Welcome back to another episode of Step Spotlight. I'm Sarah Han, I'm here with my friend Chuck. We are in Mankato, Minnesota and learning all about what ISG is and who they are. But I've always wondered like you guys do with drainage, like what happens with water when it rains? Well, in the Midwest, we have a lot of rural areas and uh, it goes through drain tile. It runs over land and goes through drain tile. We get to design a lot of those systems and figure out how to manage that water and treat it and uh, uh, provide uh, things for crops to grow and uh, outlets for the water. Perfect, I can't wait. Let's go uh, check it out. I'm Chuck Brandel. I'm a licensed engineer in multiple states. I'm a vice president, and then I also have the title of natural, National Agricultural Drainage Expert. So ISG was founded in 1973, so we're in year 51 right now. It was founded by Ken Serpernot and Mary Jo Serpernot, and then the Isaacson family, and that's where you get I and S, was originally the company, I and S Engineers. The, the company started in Mankato, like I said, in 1973. I started in 2000 and at that time we were 30 people. And shortly after that, we started expanding in Minnesota. And then in 2011, we expanded into Iowa, merged with a company in Iowa and opened an office in Storm Lake in Algona. And then since then we've grown into uh, Wisconsin and then South Dakota, and now um, we're in Arkansas also. As part of our growth plan, we were engineers, architects, structural engineers, surveyors. We, we looked at how do we become client-centric. So we developed what, what we call business units. So we have 12 business units and they include water, commercial, housing, education, healthcare, telecommunications, government and culture, among others. My name is Spencer Peck. I'm a civil engineer at ISG. Uh, I work primarily in our water business unit, primarily working on agricultural drainage and water quality uh, type projects. So I grew up on a family farm in Northeast Iowa, grew up around agriculture, always really passionate about agriculture. Also really wanted to get into engineering from a young age and kind of just paired the two together for agricultural engineering. Attended Iowa State University for agricultural engineering. Within that, uh, I had an emphasis on land and water resources engineering. During my time at Iowa State University, I did two internships at ISG throughout the summer, kind of learning a little more about what ISG does um, on the agricultural drainage and water quality side of things. I worked on a variety of different projects, really found out that it was something I was really passionate about and wanted to do. And so after graduation, I started full time. Um, I've been at ISG ever since, uh, working on our water team and working with a variety of uh, water resources type projects. We also use drones quite a bit. We use drones for surveying, we use drones for video. It's a way for us to be in many places at one time. And then uh, large linear projects like the project we're on here, somebody can come out and fly the entire project and we can inspect it in the office very quickly. A few years ago, we became an employee owned company. And a couple of reasons for that, we were growing very fast, but we wanted everybody to have ownership. We train our people to be good people. We want to hire good people. We want our clients to be our friends. And when we do that, we work together as a team. A lot of our people take ownership in their projects like they're theirs. It really goes beyond just ownership of the company. It, it, it's uh, ingrained in our culture as a company as well. So something we're very passionate about um, and that we're all employee owners. We're here on Blue Earth County Judicial Ditch 34. It's a thousand acre watershed that all drains from behind us down into this one and a half acre storage basin. The ditch system was constructed back in the 1910s and really no work was completed up until that point. Just to my right, there was a 26 inch tile that came down and drained directly into a channel that drains into Eagle Lake, which is right behind us. Eagle Lake is a migratory waterfowl lake, shallow lake, a lot of fishermen use it. All of this water goes through the city of Eagle Lake, then it goes to the Lasur River. The Lasur River is one of the fastest downcutting rivers in the world, it has a lot of sediment issues with it. So if we can reduce those, the peak flows going to that river, that's, that's a, definitely a benefit to everybody that lives along that river and everybody downstream. Eventually the Lasur River gets to the Minnesota River through the city of Mankato, and then to the Mississippi River and then to the Gulf.
What I think excites me the most about the projects I work on is that we're able to provide a lot of multi-purpose benefits with our projects. So primary goal of a lot of our project is agricultural drainage, crop production uh, improvement as a result of that. But we're also um, kind of unique in that we can find a lot of ways to pair those projects with a lot of other um, ancillary benefits, including uh, habitat, recreation, uh, water quality, flood protection, things like that for the future that include growth and diversification, you know, not only company-wide, but also within our uh, water business unit as well. And I'm fortunate enough to currently be participating uh, within one of our uh, company's program, which is a leadership acceleration program. One of the more exciting uh, kind of newer things that we're working on right now is actually what we're calling drainage water recycling. So again, historically, drainage was just thought of as getting rid of water as, as uh, quickly and as efficiently as you could uh, to make the, the crop ground more productive. But more recently, with some of the more climate extremes that we've seen where we still have those wet, intense uh, springs with intense rainfalls, but maybe the drier summers where we're actually seeing some crop stress and yield loss due to uh, not enough precipitation, uh, we're looking at a more of a multi-purpose practice of drainage water recycling where we're still draining the agricultural lands, but instead of just draining all of that water downstream, we're capturing some of it and storing it uh, in a pond or a reservoir. Uh, and then later on in the season, in the summer, when it's maybe a little drier and the crop uh, needs more water, the landowner can then utilize that captured water to irrigate it back on uh, to their farmland. So this is a really exciting uh, new type of project um, that we're seeing a lot of momentum in. When um, some of our clients talk to new clients, they, they, they talk about how great of people we are, not just of how great of designers we are. So that's something that I really enjoy is meeting people. Just last week, I led a tour of 80 some folks of uh, projects similar to this. And then uh, the second day we had six people from out of state that I've become friends with. And we toured them on this project and other projects. And, and we talked a lot about water and water quality, but everybody was having fun and everybody was enjoying it. We stopped at what's called the Goofy Goat Farm, which is a couple miles away from here and just took a break and everybody kind of relaxed and joked around and, and then we got back to business. And it's really nice that ISG has that flexibility to allow us to do that. Well, that's a wrap for this week's Step of Spotlight. I can't believe I learned so much on this drainage tour. Yeah, thanks for coming along. We really enjoy educating folks on what, what it is we do every day and how we can make a difference with our projects. Awesome, well, that is a wrap. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time.